Um, so what I also have attached um, on my website for you to, guys to have a look at is a recommended practice routine blueprint. This is something that I'm going to be making available in my guitar practice logbook, um, which I'm, is going to be an ebook, and I'm going to make this blueprint specific to each level of my beginner's course and then going forward into sort of high level stuff, which I've, I've got planned for next year. I'm going to be really hammering the, uh, the harder stuff next year, really. But now, for now, I'm just making sure that we've got beginners absolutely watertight so that we can get you all up to that higher level. I don't want to leave, leave no man behind, you know. Um, so you can see here how I've structured Chris's practice routine and how that transfers into this blueprint so that you can choose your songs, choose any songs that you like and then think of which songs I would like you to add in there as well to make sure you're covering all the bases. So, for example, songs that are to performance standard. You've got three songs there, to, three boxes to fill, as it were, three lines to, dotted lines to put them on. And uh, you should include your favourites definitely in that section. You know you're going to have to play these songs an awful lot again and again. So if you absolutely hate them, find another song to do that does virtually the same thing. That's why there are 10 songs per level on my beginner's course. It's not that you have to do absolutely every song. It is to give you a choice. But out of those choices, you want to make sure that you're also keeping me happy. You're doing the things that I want you to do. So if you don't have a riff in one of those, make sure you've got a riff in there, as it says. Ideally, with a mix of songbook songs and some riffs. Some that are from a lower standard, so, you know, level two, level three, even level one. And then some that are as, as high a level as you are, so maybe level four, level five. A really common thing is that people forget to practice their minor chords. So level four of my beginner's course is all about the minor chords and their chords that you'll later rely on because they start to get mixed with the harder chords G and C, for example. Um, then we can break it down to some single note playing riffs. So these should be short and recognizable. Um, also include any scales or, you know, the E minor pentatonic, the open pentatonic, if, especially if you like any blues um, stuff. The minor pentatonic scale is for rock, metal and blues primarily. Um, if you're more into kind of acoustic finger style, then I've uploaded a G major pentatonic scale and that's the one that you want to be covering. That's at level six of my beginner's course and there'll be more, um, there'll be a full G major scale coming to follow in the in the coming weeks over Christmas. Um, that's what you want to be covering if you're more into major sounding songs like happy pop songs and folk music. It's the major scale that you want to be hammering, not so much the, the or, or even major pentatonic, not the minor pentatonic. Um, so then songbook songs, again, you're trying to think of what haven't we got in here? Have you got a 12 bar blues in there? Have you got a song with all down strumming? Do you have a song with down and up strumming? All those things are really important. And if you're doing the exact same strumming pattern for all the songs that you know, be aware that in reality, you may as well only practice one of those songs to get the same amount of benefit. Because every time you learn another song, but it's got exactly the same practice route, um, same strumming pattern, you're not working on anything different. So you've already got the benefit of that do something different which will make the more, most of your valuable practice time. And then again, finally, you should take on, um, I think it's really important to work on the skill of learning new songs very quickly, which is a skill that anyone who's been doing this a long time does have. To make that a skill that you have in the shortest amount of time, you kind of have to now learn new songs or learn a new song or new riff, almost every time you spend, you know, say half an hour or 45 minutes practicing your guitar, but don't be precious over it. Don't think that you have to then keep that and add it and do it perfectly. Just play through a new song, Google a new song, search one on my website, play through those chords and then scrap it because it's it's not important to you. It's not a song that, that matters to you that you know particularly well. I used to do this all the time before the days of the internet when I just had beginner's song books that were I'd, I'd got for Christmas or that family members had, I'd look through them, kind of have a strum through those songs and um, then kind of never play them again. I'll play them again in a couple of months and not be too precious over them. But that works on the skill of learning 
new songs and the skill of following a chord sheet. So this is kind of similar to um, if you're working on a maths equation. Say you're learning your times times tables, okay? If you constantly work on the exact same times tables, like three times three, it's always going to equal nine, okay? You're always going to get the same answer. You're always going to know how to do it. You need to work on a different times table to actually exercise the skill of working it out. That's the same as working out your chord sheets or any riffs or tabs that you may be looking at. You need to look at new ones all the time, but don't be too precious over it. You, but then keep the ones that you are wanting to refine the songs at a performance standard that are at the top of your guitar practice blueprint. And then I think it's important that finally, when we've got those kind of 10 songs, um, that you should know that if you only have, say, 10 or 15 minutes to pick up your guitar, how we chop that right down to make sure you can still get the maximum benefit out of a very small amount of time is you do one song from the top section, so songs at performance standard, um, you do one from the second and one from the third. One from each of those sections, three songs, and you've covered everything that I would want you to cover in this in this practice time. I think it's so important to know that you can still get maximum benefit from even just 10 or 15 minutes of picking up your guitar. Please try and pick your guitar up every day because we're trying to make good habits at this point. We're trying to ingrain into you all the right things and we can't do that unless we do something regularly enough. <laughs>